Hi, this is Erin Peliquin from Texas Chicks Blogs and Picks. Today I'm going to show you a super quick overview of how I can edit this baby photo using Photoshop Elements. I'm going to start by increasing the exposure using a Levels Adjustment layer. I want to make sure my info panel is visible so that I can read the numbers to tell me when I've corrected enough. I want to increase my mid-tones to really brighten the photo. I'm going to add a little bit of blacks to add contrast, and then I am going to brighten the highlights as well. This is great, except that I can see from the numbers that I'm getting close to blowing out the red channel in parts of my blankets. So with my paintbrush selected and a black paint color and a low opacity on the brush, I am going to make the brush a bit bigger and paint out some of the brightest area right here. Next, I want to work on the skin tones with another Levels Adjustment layer. And for this one, I'm going to start in the red channel by reducing the reds just a touch. And then I'll go to the green channel to decrease greens and add magentas. This is going to add some healthy pink back into the skin. And then in the blue channel, I want to add just a little bit of blue to the midtones because it feels like the skin is too yellow to me. However, I'm seeing some blue in the shadows that I'd like to repair, and to do that, I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow to the darks. So I'm happy with the skin tones and moving my cursor over the skin shows me that I'm getting close to being in range on the RGB measurements. You can see where it says 246. Um, I do wish the reds were a little bit lower, so the next thing I'm going to do is add a hue saturation layer targeting the red skin. I'm going to target only the red channel and I'm going to reduce saturation just a touch and darken those red tones as well. And this is much better reading the RGB numbers that you can see here in the info panel. I'm getting to be pretty happy with those. I think I might have overdone it just a bit, so I'm going to reduce the opacity on this layer by about half. And so now this is good. Now the next thing I'd like to correct color-wise in this image is the pink blanket. I feel like it's maybe just a bit too pink and it's adding a color cast to the image as a whole. So again, with a hue saturation layer, I am going to decrease the overall saturation of the photo. And then I don't want to desaturate the baby, so with a black paintbrush at 100% opacity, I am going to mask out the baby. I'm going to paint real quickly here using a big brush in the center, and then I will reduce the size of my brush and fill in the edges. And so this is a pretty good fix on the blanket, I think. Um, next thing I'm going to do is work on some of the spots that Baby has. When you are using the clone or spot healing tool, it's important to turn off all of your adjustment layers, add a new layer, and zoom in on the area that you want to clean up. I'm going to start with my spot healing tool and just brush over some of the distracting areas. Baby's got a pretty bad diaper rash here. And so I've got most of that removed. I can also work on the diaper wrinkles with this tool if I want to. And so you can spend as much or as little time removing wrinkles and distractions as you want. This is going to be my clone layer. I'm going to add another blank layer for the color tone evening. Um, so with my brush tool selected, I'm going to hold down my Alter Option button to select a color of good skin. I'm going to reduce the opacity of the brush and I'm going to change its blend mode to color. And then I'm just going to brush real lightly over areas of uneven skin tone. If I need a double coat, I'll reduce my mouse and repeat the paint stroke. So this is looking better. Let me zoom out and show you a before and after just on the bottom. 
And now I can do the same thing on baby's face. So I'm going to zoom in. Going to turn off my color tone layer so that my spot healing is not skewed. I'm going to do my work on my clone layer and I'm just going to click and drag over the biggest areas of rash and baby acne. And again, you can spend as much or as little time removing these spots as you want. Next thing I'm going to do is turn the color tone layer back on. Select my paintbrush. It's still on the color blend mode with a low opacity. Going to select a healthy color of skin, activate the color tone layer, and paint over the reddest areas of baby skin. And as I change, I might, as I change locations on baby's face, I might need to reselect a healthy color to match the skin on that particular location. So I'm just trying to even out the skin tone here. And one more time, I will select a paint color to match the forehead. And then I'm going to reduce the size of my brush, paint over the eyelids, just a touch. And so now I'm much happier with baby's face. I can turn on my other adjustment layers now. And here we are so far with a before and after on this. Um, now looking at it, I'm feeling like maybe it's a bit too bright now that I've toned down the skin tone. So I'm going to reduce this layer just a little bit, um, reduce its opacity. Next thing I want to do is blur out the blanket just a little bit. I am going to make a stamped visible layer so I can duplicate all the layers below. Going to add a Gaussian blur filter. Add a layer mask. And I want to copy the layer mask from the pink blanket layer because I only need to do that paint job once. So this will save time for me. Uh, what I'm doing is hiding the blur from the baby but applying it just to the blanket. And then I will reduce the opacity just a little bit on this. Now I would like to emphasize baby's eyes just a little bit by adding a levels adjustment layer. I'm going to bring the darks over pretty significantly here. It's going to make the photo look really funny for just a minute. I'm going to turn the layer mask black, zoom into the eyes, and with a white paintbrush, I am going to brush lightly over baby's eyelashes just to add some definition to them. Note that I'm not drawing in fake lashes. That wouldn't look normal on a brand new baby. Here's a before and an after. And then my last layer is going to be a sharpening layer. I'm going to retain the zoom on this so I can look at baby's eyes and make sure that they look nice and sharp. I'm going to go to image, I'm going to go to enhance adjust sharpness. And by clicking in this preview window, I can get a before and after just by clicking and releasing the mouse. And I think I can maybe push the sharpness up just a little bit higher here and hit OK. So this is my sharpening layer. I'm going to zoom out and do a before and an after. Now this was just a super quick edit to show you what can be done in Elements. If I were doing this photo for real, it would probably take me a total of maybe five or so minutes. I would have been more careful with my brushing around the edges and I would have added a layer of softening to the skin. If you're interested in these methods and knowing the exact steps that I've taken and knowing how I read the RGB numbers to tell me when skin tones are right and if not, how to correct them, then you should sign up more for my Photoshop Elements workshop that I teach at Click and Moms. This is a four-week workshop that will teach you all the techniques that I've covered in detail as well as the shortcuts that I use to make the edits fly. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you're interested in the details behind it, go to Click and Moms University and check out the Photoshop Elements 101 workshop. Thanks so much for watching.